Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to customize the drum pads on the Hammer 88 Pro. Now, M-Audio has put out this beautiful controller. It's the center of my studio desk back here. You can see it right here. And I use this controller pretty much every time I'm making music over on this desk. Not only are the keys great on it, but the pads are great as well. Very solid feel. And I wanna talk in today's video about how to customize those drum pads. So how do we put those on different MIDI channels than the keys? How do we customize the colors of the drum pads and the MIDI notes that they're triggering? So we're gonna talk about all of that in today's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And if you're looking to pick up the Hammer 88 Pro. I've got a link in my description below. It helps support my channel with no extra cost to you. So if you wanna do that, that link is in the description below. Let's hop over to my studio desk, switch to the overhead camera, and let's check out a couple of things on the M-Audio Hammer 88 Pro. So over here on the Hammer 88 Pro, we've got our wonderful set of 16 drum pads. These sound amazing. And so we can customize these drum pads by going into our edit menu. And on the Hammer 88 Pro, we've got DAW mode and preset mode. So right now I'm in DAW mode, set up to control Pro Tools with my control surface here, all the knobs, the faders, control, everything within Pro Tools. It works amazing, but if I wanna edit the drum pads, I can hold shift and tap on the DAW mode. You can tell I'm in DAW mode by the light that's on the DAW mode button. If I was in preset mode, preset would be lit and I'd wanna go shift and edit preset instead. So what I can do here is now that I'm in edit mode, which I got by holding shift and tapping on the DAW button, I can tap on any one of the controls or twist a knob or a fader, tap on the pad and it gives me the parameters or the settings I can edit for this pad without even needing to plug it into the preset editor on the computer. I can customize all of that right from the control panel here. So let's look at a couple of the options here for the edit mode of the pads. We have the MIDI channel. So in this case, I have it set to MIDI channel 10. Depending on how you've got your DAW set up and your track set up, you could set your drum pads to MIDI channel 10, your keys to MIDI channel one, and then you could have two separate tracks in your DAW and have maybe a piano on the MIDI track one and your drums on MIDI track 10, and you're able to play both of those at the same time because the way that MIDI works is it'll send the notes you're playing out onto that specific channel. So if you have two separate channels, you can assign two different instruments and you'll have the ability to play those at the same time. So we can do that, uh, change the channel by just tapping down on the encoder and scrolling to pick our channel and then tapping down again to save that. Let's scroll to the right and you can see that we have two different colors here. We have this initial color and then when we tap on the pad, we have a second color. So two color options, let's go into our edit menu again, tap on the pad, color one, tap down and we can select, let's say we want orange and then color two, let's say we want rose. So we tap down on that. Now when we play this, we have orange and then rose. Very easy to customize the colors. You could do this inside the preset editor as well, but I find it just as quick to go into here, tap, scroll over and change my colors. Now let's talk about the type here. So you can change the actual message or note that gets triggered when you tap on this. So right now it's set to note. We could tap down on that and we could change it between note, CC, and preset. So we could tap down on note and then it allows us to select the note that this is triggering. Let's change it to G1 and then we could turn latch on or off. So if latch is on, it's gonna sustain that note as long as that note can sustain until I turn latch off or tap a different note. So you can use that if you want like a synth sound that just kind of plays while you're playing the keys, you could have those set up with latch on. Now we could also set the note on and off parameters. And if we go back, you'll notice now completely different sound because I changed the note that that pad is sending out. We could also send a CC message. So maybe we want to send a particular message to our DAW that changes something or start stops or something like that. Your DAW usually has a listing of the CC messages that are assigned to different controls. So you could assign that to the pad as well.
If we go into preset mode and we go into the edit mode, tap on the pad. Now we have a few more options around the different modes we can put this pad in. So you'll notice there's a lot more here than there were in DAW mode. So I can do note, CC, CC cycle, CC, INDC, program, program cycle, program, INDC. We could also choose the zone that we want to set this pad up in. I have another video talking about zones and you can go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. I won't get into that in this video, but you could set up this to send a program number. So if you've got this controlling another external keyboard, you could send a program number by tapping a pad that would change the program and you can play that sound from the external keyboard. So if you're using this in a live setting, you could set up different programs on your pads. And then as you're playing them, you could just tap that and switch those programs without needing to go up to that other keyboard and switch those by hand. So really cool stuff, a lot of capability around how to customize the drum pads on the Hammer 88 Pro. You could do any of the controls though because once you're inside the edit mode, again by holding shift and tapping on the preset or the DAW mode, you can twist or move or tap any of the controls and change the settings for that right here without needing to go onto the computer and customize stuff on the computer. So as you can see, there's a lot of powerful capabilities around customizing not only the drum pads on the Hammer 88 Pro, but the other controls as well. Very easy and intuitive and a lot of controls without even needing to open up preset editor on your computer. You can do it all right within the controller itself, which is awesome. Not every controller provides that capability to customize everything in the controller right from the little screen. So that's definitely one of the reasons I love the Hammer 88 Pro. I hope you do too. I hope this video was helpful, but if you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you're subscribed again so you don't miss any future videos coming out on these controllers. We've got some really cool stuff coming in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Like this video if you find it helpful. Stay inspired and keep making that music.